so here we are dealing uh, question 3.3 of erodo uh, here we are told that uh, two small equally charged spheres each of mass m are suspended from the same point by silk threads of length l the situation must be like that that uh, there is a ball 1 there is another ball 2 both are having same mass m the length of thread is l right then it is said that the distance between the two spheres x which is uh, this it is given that x is less less than l let us take uh, the question say asks us that find the rate dq by dt with which the charge leaks off each sphere if their approach velocity varies v is equal to a by root x where a is some constant so here we must suppose that uh, the two spheres are having charge q and they are approaching towards each other with this velocity and this velocity is depending on x this the the, the two spheres must be approaching each other because the charge is getting leaked out of this uh, system or these spheres okay so what we will do here is let's take this angle to be theta by 2 this one also theta by 2 then we can easily see that we have a tension force this will be theta by 2 this is a force t cos theta by 2 the inward force is t sin theta by 2 so in equilibrium condition in equilibrium if we talk of equilibrium in x direction then we will say that there must be some electrostatic force acting on this ball or sphere and t sin theta by 2 should be equal to electrostatic force which is k q1 q2 by distance which is x square and for equilibrium in y direction we should see t cos theta by 2 is equal to mg <coughs> if we divide this equation 1 by this equation 2 then what we'll get is 10 theta by 2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q square by x square we know that we are told that x is very very less than l then this angle theta or theta by 2 must be quite small so we can easily say that 10 theta by 2 is equal to sin theta by 2 which is simply equal to you can see from this triangle that sin theta by 2 is x Uh, this is x by 2 by l so this is x by 2 by l that is x by 2l and this is also equal to 10 theta by 2 which can be replaced from here okay so x by 2l is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q square by x square so it comes out to be equal to x cube is equal to q square l by 2 pi epsilon not like this so if we differentiate this equation then what we'll get is 3x square dx by dt which becomes velocity which is given uh, a by root x is equal to 2q dq by dt and all the rest of the things will appear as it is so what we get here is 3x square this is velocity which is a by root x is equal to l 
by pi epsilon naught q dq by dt. We have to find this dq by dt in terms of uh, maybe velocity or in x. So we can write it as we have to substitute the value of this q also, which can be substituted from this equation. Uh, from this equation, we can see that charge is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught x cube by L and under root. So overall it becomes 3x square a by root x into pi epsilon naught by L and q. q is replaced from this equation 2 pi epsilon naught x cube under root and uh, under root L. Okay, so what we get here is 3 a x to the power 3 by 2 by root L 2 pi epsilon naught and this is uh, again x to the power 3 by 2 and x to the power 3 by 2 both gets cancelled out so uh, pi epsilon naught is also in numerator so this is dq by dt this is dq by dt so this becomes 3a by root l by root 2 pi epsilon naught under root is equal to dq by dt so this should be the final answer right uh, here I forgot one very small thing which is this mg so mg will be getting carried forward in all these steps like this and here uh, it will be mg this is mg and uh, this is mg I think okay so right and uh, again mg so here we'll get mg as it is and mg as it is and when we'll be using the value of q from this equation mg is an under root and uh, right so what we'll get overall is uh, mg here also in the final answer okay